Hi guys, it's Asan. Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying your new week of school and I hope you're having a great day. Today, we have a PSLE question from 2009. This lesson is brought to you by Joyous Learning. To find out more about them, go to their website at www.joyouslearning.com and if you if you think that my lessons so far were good, the Joyous Learning's uh, actual lessons will be even better. So feel free to find out more about them and sign up. So, let's start with the question. Jim bought some chocolates and gave half of them to Ken. Ken bought some sweets and gave half of them to Jim. Jim ate 12 sweets and Ken ate 18 chocolates. The ratio of Jim's sweets to chocolates becomes 1 to 7 and the ratio of Ken's sweets to chocolates becomes 1 to 4. How many sweets did Ken buy? A lot. Okay. So, Jim bought some chocolates and gave half of them to Ken. And Ken bought some sweets and gave half of them to Jim. So, they share share equally lah. So, they will have the same amount of chocolates and same amount of sweets. So, Jim, certain amount of chocolates and certain amount of sweets. And Ken will have the same amount of chocolates and same amount of sweets. Okay, so, Jim ate 12 sweets and Ken ate 18 chocolates. Wow, that's a lot of candy. Get diabetes. My mother scold me if I eat this much. Uh, Jim ate 12 sweets, so I'm just going to write 12 and cancel it. And Ken ate 18 chocolates. 18 and cancel it as well. The ratio of Jim's sweets to chocolates become 1 to 7 and the ratio of Ken's sweets of chocolates becomes 1 to 4. Their units are not the same, so I'm going to label them as X and Y. So Jim's sweets to chocolates becomes 1 Y... I'm just going to put it as Y and X. 1Y to 7Y. And the ratio of canned sweets to chocolates become 1X to 4X. Okay. Now, how many sweets they can buy? So first, we are going to compare um, the number of sweets they have left. So we can see that 1Y plus 12 is equal to 1X. Because um, Jim ate 12 sweets and it became 1Y. So 1Y plus 12 is 1X. Now for the chocolates. Ken ate 18. So 4X plus 18 is equal to 7Y. 4X plus 18 is equal to 7Y. So now I'm going to compare it. Now we know 1Y plus 12 is equal to 1X. We have to find out how much is equal to 4x. So we have to times the whole thing by 4, which becomes 1y times 4, 4y, plus 12 times 4, 48, which is equal to 4x. So now we combine it together, it becomes 4y plus 48 plus 18 is equal to 7y. Let me just draw here 4x. Okay, now, Make it simpler by making this one number. 4y plus 66 is equal to 7y. So we just have to take 7y minus 4y. We just have to transfer. And when you transfer, if it's a positive, it turns to a negative. So 7y minus 4y is equal to 3y, which is equal to 66. So now we know 3y, we can find out. 1y, which is divided by 3, which is equal to 22. So 1y is equal to 22. So the question is, how many sweets did Ken buy? So first, we need to find out how much 1x is because that is the full amount of sweets that each person got. So we have to take 22 plus 12, which was eaten by Jim, which is equal to 34, and that is one unit. So now we just have to take 34 times 2 because it was shared equally, and we get 68. And that's your final answer. Once you finish question, the first thing you should do is check through it in case you make any careless mistakes. So let me just check quickly. I got it. Yep, I got it all right. It was okay. Okay, that's it for this lesson 4. Good luck with the rest of 
school and enjoy yourself and yeah that's it bye see you next week <laughs>